Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Patrick here. You know, in today's verse, uh, Matthew 6, 9 through 15, Jesus sets an example for how we should pray when we're speaking with God. I'm going to read it for us. Pray then like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. You know, oftentimes, depending on whether you have a background that's uh, a more traditional, um, you know, like a Catholic faith background, you may be really familiar with this prayer. You know, me, I heard this prayer going, uh, growing up over and over, and uh, I often thought that this was something that um, we needed to memorize as Christians. But in actuality, Jesus just uses this as a framework for how we should pray when we talk to God. You see, it tells us where our focus should be when we pray. He says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. God, you're great. You're mighty and you deserve our respect. Then he says, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Notice that we didn't open this prayer asking God for something. You see, how often do we go to God in prayer with our requests and our, and our, uh, and our wants and our needs and our desires when really the focus that Jesus puts on is, God, you're incredible. You're great. And my priority is to see your will come to pass, not what I want. And I think that that speaks a lot as to what Jesus says we ought to live, is we need to be more focused on what God wants rather than what we want. As we, as we continue, it says, give us this day our daily bread. God, I trust you to provide me with the things that I need. I may not know where that bill's going to get paid from. I may not know where my next meal is going to come from, but I trust you. And I know that if I surrender to your will and I, and I trust you with my life, that you're going to provide the things that I need. He goes on, forgive us our debts. Now, what does that mean? Forgive us our debts. I'll tell you exactly what it means. It means that we bear the the debt of sin that first uh, was first born by Adam. And uh, that, that debt of sin was paid for by Christ's uh, sacrifice on the cross. It was atoned for by his blood, as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, we want you to give us the strength to overcome temptation because we know that there's adversity coming. We know that there are things that happen in our life that are tough, but we trust you to get us through it. So, um, So today, Calvary, as you go about your day, you don't necessarily need to pray this prayer. But Jesus gives gives us the framework to know where our priorities ought to be when we pray. So in summary, God, you're incredible. Your name is great. Your will, not mine. Please give me the things that I need as I continue to obey you. Thank you for saving me. And God, help us to overcome temptation and evil from the evil one. I hope this encourages today, Calvary. I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time.